For years, Bulger was seen as a so-called protector of South Boston. That's a story that he tried to tell. But the truth eventually came out. WBZ's Mike LaCrosse is live in South Boston tonight. And Mike, a lot has changed there since Bulger left. Lisa, the neighborhood is still changing even right before our eyes. Here's an example of that. This used to be a pizza shop and a dry cleaners. It has been leveled to make way for another condo unit like this one right here behind us, which is already complete. And despite all the millennials that are moving into this neighborhood, there are still people that lived here when Whitey was here, and they remember what it was like. He had, uh, like, platinum blonde hair. So they, that's why they called him Whitey. Reaction to James Whitey Bulger's death is spreading around his old turf, Selfie. I knew he lived in the project, and I lived right near there. I lived on Carpenter Street, and he lived in the project, like, right near there. So, but I used to see him all the time, but I wasn't friendly with him or anything, you know. Bulger's death was the topic of discussion around the liquor store he's accused of muscling away from the owner. This as lifelong Southie residents tell us how the neighborhood was different under Whitey's watch. There were things you did and things you didn't do, and he kind of like policed. South Boston today is not the way Whitey would remember it. Triple O's, a bar he and the Winter Hill Gang frequented, got a makeover in a new name years ago. Triple deckers are now condo units or apartment buildings filled with millennials who are vaguely familiar with his name. It's completely different now. There's like luxury apartment buildings everywhere all around us. So it's, uh, he wouldn't even recognize it if he came back today. And there are employees and owners of businesses that have been here for decades that would not speak with us on camera about Whitey because they're still concerned about his influence even today. We're live in South Boston tonight. I'm Mike LaCrosse, WBC News.